so funny. <laughs> Look at this guy's face. He's like, eeeh. <laughs> you can see this face. Man, he's looking at me like he never saw a trophy wife in Orange County. Really? Really? That's weird. Ugh. I can't even afford real spanks anymore. I buy these at Walmart. I call them skanks. And so they're not. I'm doing what I can. I love doing this show tonight with all the girls. Isn't it fun being with women? And went on. And, and I love the men that came out, you know, especially that poor bastard who wants to kill himself right now. But it's fun to be in the company of women and, and in the company of men in the right situation. But, um, but, so I was doing a, a show a couple weeks ago with my comedy girlfriends in Paso Robles, beautiful wine country, right? Yeah. Oh, so beautiful, right? Yeah. So, right, the little blonde whore knows exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. Oh, I want to go to Paso, honey. Yeah. So, so, so we're up at the Rava Winery. Beautiful. And we do a show. And the next morning, I'm so jealous. And um, so the next morning, we're still drinking some champagne and stuff. And this driver is taking us home. And we're driving through San Luis Obispo. And I like look up and I see California men's colony. Yeah, yes. And I'm thinking, man, that is the biggest gay man's resort I have ever seen in my life. It goes on forever. And then I sober enough to realize it's a prison. It's a prison with a really stupid foo-foo name, the California men's colony, right? I want to break into that bitch. And so I said to my girlfriends, you guys want to go in for a kanji? And, uh, you know, we weren't in a hurry or anything. So we go inside and we, I said to the guard, we'd like to have a conjugal visit. And he goes, well, who do you know? And we're like, nobody. <laughs> and he goes, well, that's gonna be a problem. And I think that's bullshit, okay? And I think, and I'm not political or anything. I think that's the one reason we need a woman president, okay? I, I don't care which party she comes from. I think the first executive order a woman president would do is she just make it legal, right? That we just drive up to prison. <laughs> have a conjugal visit and be on our way, okay? <laughs> right? There could be some kind of catalog with the mud shots. <laughs> and we could just peruse through. For you young people, you love the, the dating apps. You love the dating apps so much today, right? So there could be just like a penitentiary app. Right? Like Pender, you know? <laughs> And I just want to say that I love our country so much. And uh, we love our country so much, don't we? Yep. And uh, I was thinking about our country and how divided we are, okay? And I had this idea. I had this idea, because I, I, I'm very, you know, worried. And I had this idea. Let's say that, um, say, like, sir, you are like a Republican, okay? And then you would reach out and make love to a Democrat, okay? <laughs> And then say, sir, you're a Democrat there. And, and she wouldn't mind because she's a patriot, okay? And then... <laughs> let me get that in. And then, sir, you say you're a, Republic, a Democrat, and then you'd reach out and make love to a Republican. And then again, she wouldn't mind because she's a patriot too, okay? And I truly believe that if we all did that, if we all reached out and made sweet love to someone in the other party, if we do that, we can screw this country back together again. God bless America, you've been great.